So um, we start organizing the festival a year in advance. So right now, uh, we are the festival is happening. But then we are already uh, organizing for or planning for the next year because a lot of you know the grants and then a lot of the sponsorships you have deadlines so we are already applying so it starts like it, you know more than a year in advance for next year. What did you guys think of this year film festival? Way better a lot of more people uh, a lot of interaction a lot of people are responding they seem like they want to not just see movies from the US but they want to experience what Chile, Argentina, Spain, El Salvador, yeah. It's always great to see that you get out of your shell and see like, oh wow, Europeans also make great movies. Oh wow, South America also makes great movies. So it's always a pleasure to see movies from other countries and thanks to Cine Magnifico we get to do this. Yeah, it's special to see a Latino film festival be packed at the guild, you know, there's other film festivals out there, you can't even get a whole house, baby. Yeah, you can't get halfway full and walk in, I'm like, wow, this is, this is great. A lot of, uh, I think it's great this year as well. Oh, yeah, no, great, great response. So there was some great marketing and people responded to it and they just want to have fun. Uh, you never know where the next gem is going to come from. And, and it's, it's important for people to have a voice and be able to put this art out in the world. The thing about being a creative person, um, trying to tell stories and trying to put work out there, as an independent filmmaker, you're doing all of it. You're doing the creative work, you're doing the pounding the pavement, trying to get funding for your work. You might be fronting the money yourself. If you're able to get um, a philanthropist who believes in the arts and supports your work, it frees you up for more of the creative side of what you're doing. Can you tell me who you are? Uh, my name is Chris Cashman. I'm the director of Blue Frontera. And I'm Murray Hiltz. I'm the executive producer of Club Frontera. Can you explain uh, what is Club Frontera? I have seen it. Uh, Club Frontera is the story of the Cholo Squinkles soccer team in Tijuana, Mexico, and how they became so popular and what they did for the city. You know, creating a, a new team, it brought a community and then changed a lot of people's lives. What is cool you're coming from? Uh, the 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 so the Instituto Cervantes, the mission is to promote uh, Spanish language and uh, Spanish culture and also Latin American culture. So part of, of the Instituto is promote um, all, the, all the cultures where this, the Spanish speaking countries. So the festival comes in as a parallel you know, uh, programming for us. So we are promoting culture through film, all the films are in Spanish. So uh, our students that are taking classes now, they come, you know, they come to classes, but they also have the opportunity to watch some films in Spanish. Um, well, it's a big part of the culture here. Like I'm like Hispanic myself, and I haven't, as you can see, I haven't learned the language or a lot of the culture. And that's really sad, especially when you have so many kids here and they can't experience their own culture. And so when you have this here, they're able to come and still have fun, but learn about themselves as well. Hola, hola. ¿Por qué está aquí esta noche? Uh, vamos a celebrar la cultura latina en este espacio particular de, privilegiado aquí en Nuevo México. Es, eh, es una ventaja que tenemos aquí tener este festival, entonces eh, simplemente se trata de pasar un buen rato y de, de nuevo de tomar ventaja de las posibilidades de ver algo de la producción cinematográfica de la región. ¿Y por qué es importante apoyar la industria de cine latinoamericano aquí en Albuquerque? Bueno, porque, pues por varias razones. Primero, porque esta región, ya lo sabemos todos, es una región importante aquí en la, dentro de la geografía cinematográfica estadounidense. Y por lo tanto, me parecería un desperdicio, dadas las condiciones geopolíticas de, de la región, pues no tomar ventaja de eso. Muy bien, muchas gracias. Pues que disfrute mucho la película. Gracias.